Oh man, I sure do love relaxing at home, alone, in complete silence on a Saturday afternoon with my sketchbook and comically huge- He's enjoying life too much. Play the bass boosted music. Gotcha. Because of my weird creature high metabolism that I just so happen to have. I'm what a lot of people would consider among siblings as the baby, and me, plus the tons of other babies out there, can agree that we were on easy mode for the most part. We'd have less restrictions, we'd get the most attention, and we could get away with anything. I mean, who else is gonna suspect a toddler for robbing the bank, right? Not the police, that's for sure. But let me just say, before anyone else gets angry, that it isn't always easy mode. Since you are the baby, you will be baby. Pacifier and milk included. But my sisters kinda weren't. And I grew up with two of them. And they are both older than me. So, uh, this is Mariah. She's the second tallest. She likes hair stuff, cooking, and painting, and she's probably good at other things. She's also the second oldest out of all of us. And the oldest oldest is Maya. She likes Fortnite. She's a Twitch streamer and gamer. She works in emergency management and works for the government. She can probably find out where you live, your exact coordinates, your IP, your social security number. Wait, where am I going with this? I, I don't know. I don't work for the government, obviously. But yeah, that is a total of two, and they are both awesome. Mariah and I bonded well growing up because we were both interested in the art, art medium. medium. We'd watch a lot of cartoons together. My sisters liked the Powerpuff Girls back then, and I did too. It was like that one show we all equally liked. Dude, I love violence! We did draw a lot of random things together on our notebooks that we had. Practically anything we saw. It was fun. And I ended up being the art sibling growing up which really put me on track. From there, I did more drawing, drawings for other people. Hey, hey, can you draw me next? Discovered the internet, discovered fan art, and now this, I guess. I don't think I would have pulled any of it off if it wasn't for Mariah, so that's awesome, thanks. But as siblings, we also had our more opposing moments. Hey, hey look, a slice of pizza! pizza. I wasn't a mean guy back then. It's just not my thing to be that way. But I kind of was also playing honest with them. For instance, when they'd see some big monster bug or whatever, what's a good example? A giant aggressive centipede. Both of them would stop everything and choose to either deal with the problem directly or come and get me. And they'd usually flip flop between those options. But let's say they chose me. They'd come in my room all frantic like and tell me to destroy whatever bug was terrorizing their sleeping space. So I had to stop whatever I was doing to check it out. I'm typically okay with it if it's like a silverfish or a house spider or whatever goes on other than beds. But occasionally, it just so happens to be 50 times worse than that, because it always is. Hmm, that's a rather quaint looking situation you two have got here. And listen, listen, I appreciate you coming to get me, I really do, but this seems kind of like your problem, not mine, so have fun with that. What do you mean, have fun? It's kind of funny that they survived through all of that. Moving on. Now thinking about it, I've always had moments where I needed my sisters for something. A handful of things, but I'll go with this one. I used to ask my sisters if I can come in their room for an evening, and they're usually cool with that. I'd get all comfy, and I'll make this super cozy pallet on the floor so I can lie on it, and it's like a bed, you know? It was usually right here, between their beds, the door was right here, and they'd have a TV in the room right here. We'd watch an agreed upon channel or movie and sit there like we had no worries, because we didn't. Except me, I guess. Thing is, when I was still tiny, I used to have been very afraid of the dark, and it may or may not have been because of my unrestricted internet access. I wasn't a big fan of scary stuff. I really can't count how many times I went to watch a horror movie with my family and said, yeah, I'll be fine, just for me to not be fine at all. So I'd regularly end up hopping out of my bed and annoy my sisters about it. Sometimes they do decide to take me in and let me sleep there for the night with the pallet. And other times they're like, uh... Hey, wait, 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 let me in, please! But they taught me a valuable lesson, and that lesson is to punch Dark right back in the face. Hey, do you remember when I said that the youngest child is also the child that gets pampered and protected the most? Yeah, I kinda used that to my advantage. My sisters had most of the chores in the household, aka the more important ones that took the most work. I was in charge of garbage and sweeping for the most part, and also wiping windows. But the thing is, we were kinda lazy. I still have memories of this, but whenever the bathtub wasn't clean or the dishes weren't done, I'd get a little annoyed at them for not doing it because I wasn't allowed to clean the bathroom nor the dishes myself. I don't understand why my mom kept me away from those chores when I was young. I guess she didn't want me to, you know, blow the dishwasher up with detergent. And I totally get that. But my sisters! I'd remind them to do it because, you know, I like being clean and I kind of need my blue giraffe cup to be clean as well. And they'd just give me an okay or I'll do it later type of response just to not do it at all. Hey, I thought you said you'd do it later. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, no fighting in this house of Jesus. It was her fault. But in all seriousness, growing up with my two sisters was pretty great. We've had a lot of good memories together, some that I like playing in my head every once in a while. We had some good times and we had some bad times, but they're just times, you know? And those times will always be loved. And here, both Maya and Mariah, and me, the baby. <coughs> Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. You can watch this other video if you want. Um, all right, I'm gonna go now.